This year, National Historic Ships ran a photography competition for the first time, and we were delighted at the response with over 350 entries. Our panel of five judges included celebrity judge, actor David Suchet, and they had some difficult decisions to make, first of all with the shortlisting process and then in choosing the winners. And uh, I'd just like to talk a bit more first with Peter Smith about that process. And uh, Peter, it was quite a day, wasn't it? Well, we just spent a long time, but there was a lot to choose from, over, over 300. We, got, we managed, managed to narrow it down to about seven. Yes, that's right. I mean, for the classic boat category alone, which was for maritime enthusiasts we had over 100 images getting it down to that 7 was a, some tough decisions had to very be made very hard decisions because of very high standards and very difficult uh, decisions to be made the judges were particularly excited by the creativity of the children's entries as both Judge Peter Mumford from Beacon of Cows and Dan Houston from Classic Boat explain. The children, the children in the, particularly in the, well, both categories, but the younger category, some of the photos that we saw taken by children of seven or eight were just mind-blowing, weren't they? Sure. It was so extraordinary standard. Um, and I think it's all credit to the teacher because um, having just chatted with her, I think it's a question of a teacher literally going the extra mile for her uh, pupils and giving them an interest and, and steering that interest into constructive ways and producing beautiful, beautiful results. And we were really impressed. As, as all the judges were really impressed by the children's uh, entries. Our secondary school winner was 14-year-old Matt Woods of St Edmund's Catholic School in Portsmouth with his picture of the steering wheels on board HMS Warrior. Matt was amazed to find that he had won and he wrote to us afterwards saying the judge were all really encouraging when I told them I hope to go to college to study photography as I want to become a professional. Matt tries to find unusual angles to take pictures of and he particularly liked the dribble of polish on the front wheel which shows the care taken in looking after the ship. He won an Olympus digital camera for his school and his class are now looking forward to a trip out on board a historic vessel next year. The photo competition award ceremony was held in the Queen's House at the National Maritime Museum in Greenwich on the 6th of October. It was an exciting day and I've, I was joined there by a number of the winners who wanted to tell me a bit more about what being in the competition meant to them. So uh, this is John Palmer and he's the winner of Category B, which is Maritime Skills in Action, um, for his picture of the beer lugger. Um, so hello John, I just wanted to ask you a few questions if that's okay about um, what winning the competition means for you. Sure, hi. And, and just learn a bit more about your project. So um, can you tell me a bit more about the, the beer lugger? I know you're, you're building it. What sort of stage are you at? Uh, the beer lugger is now complete. The beer lugger was actually built as part of a project. I was completing a course at the Boat Building Academy in Lyme Regis, so which is basically a training school for learning traditional and modern boat building. The boat we were building, it's a traditional beer lugger. It was being built by one of the students, or one of the students on the course was paying for it. Then there was a group of us that worked towards helping him finish it. It's now been finished. It was trailered up to the highlands of Scotland, where it's now operating as a little fishing boat and water taxi for the family that live on an island and own it. So. Obviously, you've won um, quite an exciting prize for it. You've won £250 to put towards um, some kind of training materials, equipment, or maybe going on another course. Do you know what you're going to spend it on? I will probably spend it on equipment. Uh, me and a business partner are setting up a workshop and we've, we're on our second commercial boat now since we finished the course. So it'll probably be very useful going towards some, something for the workshop. Great, thank you very much, John. Okay, so I'm here with Gabrielle Lorenz, who is the overall winner of our competition today. And uh, it's great to meet you, Gabrielle. Thank you for coming all the way down here. I know you had quite a long journey, didn't you? Yes, we came from Manchester this morning, yes. Yeah, well, it's, it's great to see you here. And um, thank you for your entry, which is a fantastic image. I know it went down really well with all the judges because it's so evocative. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's your vessel, Pauline, isn't it, taken very early in the morning? Yes, that's right. Pauline, we live on Pauline. She, uh, she's a, a historic boat that was built in 1869. And that image was taken near Dunham Massey Park on the Bridgewater Canal um, first thing in the morning when we were just travelling back towards Manchester and then back to Lee where we live. Oh, that's lovely to know the history behind the image and I think it really brings a sense of a bygone era for historic vessels which is, which is great to see. You're the winner of Category A which is for vessel owners but also the overall winner which means as you know you're getting a prize of £1,000 to spend on something 
anything related to the vessel. Yes. So <laughs> yes. Do you have any plans for how that might be spent? Or? Um, well, we're, we're, at the moment we're replacing the windows, which have um, suffered a bit over the last winter when it was so icy and snowy. So um, that will help considerably to do that. And we need to dry dock her as well next year, so it'll go towards that. So I'm here with and- Andre Botto, who is the winner of Category 4, um, which is um, Category D, which is for the maritime enthusiast. And uh, Andre has come all the way from Portugal um, to collect his prize here today. Where did you take the photograph? Uh, that photograph uh, has been taken in Carrasqueira, uh, a very traditional place uh, for fishermen, uh, near Lisbon, uh, in the south of, uh, of the river. Uh, and I think that is it's the one of the unique places in Portugal with uh, so traditional uh, for the fishermen. And you chose to take the picture in black and white. I think that was the right decision. Yeah, uh, I tried uh, in color, but I, I think that uh, for the symbolism it doesn't work. Okay, so um, this is Robert Prescott. He's the uh, chairman of the Advisory Committee on National Historic Ships and he's been masterminding the prize giving today. And uh, Robert, I just wondered if you'd like to say a few words um, about the competition and what it's meant for National Historic Ships. Thank you, Hannah. Yes, I would. It, it's been a wonderful competition and, and today we saw an astonishing number of really fine images and many of them are actually very good records of the vessels that we are concerned about. You know, and, and will be, make a useful addition, I think, to the, 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 the record we have of the National Historic Fleet. It's been a wonderful day. Yeah, that's very interesting, Robert. And I think, um, as you say, I mean, we got such a good response from the competition, over 350 entries, and uh, it's really a great way to, to bring our maritime heritage to a wider audience. That's true, and I'm very pleased that these images are now on the website uh, and people can see them themselves. I think you know it's nice to spread the, the word around about them in that way. And several people have said to me that they hope we're going to do this next year, and I'm absolutely sure we are. <laughs> well, that's great, and I think that's a great note to end on. So thank you very much, Robert. My pleasure.